This video is about reviewing your life, what you love about your life, what you don't love about your life, and what you can do about it. I'm Julian Russell, founder of the Life Talent Programme, and uh, this little exercise um, today will give you some stimulation and help you think about, in a very practical way, what you can do about your life. So the, uh, I suggest that after you've watched this video, um, you find a quiet place, maybe in your flat or your apartment, maybe out in the park, maybe in a coffee shop, where you've got half an hour to really attend to yourself and to your life. And the first step would be to do some sort of meditation exercise. It could just be a mindfulness exercise, or to read some poems that make you feel great, or to just breathe and look at the leaves in the park, the, you know, the, the, uh, the beauty of nature, or to do yoga or tai chi or any other practice you have that makes you feel great. Listening to music, for example, that would be the first step. Get yourself connected with yourself so that you have got all of your body mind available for this exercise. And then on a sheet of paper or preferably in a notebook, write a few pages of the things you love about your life and go into some detail. You can bullet point this, that's the way that I would do it. Um, what are the things that I love about my life? And they can be big things. For example, I'm fulfilling my life calling, my passion, my mission in life, something for me. Or it could be little things like um, um, one of my friends I've been spending some time with recently, just having a really good time with that particular person. Um, it could be the view from the window of my flat. So write down lots of different things that you love about your life. I'm excited about um, exploring video blogging, which I'm going to do more of. Uh, so you make a long list of that and spend some time, spend at least 10 minutes doing that and come up with little examples. I love that I have uh, a good taste, a, cl a taste in clothes that I like and I'm beginning to buy clothes that I think are, you know, that, that, that fit my skin colour and all of those sorts of things. Uh, I love the fact that I'm going away on a four day weekend this weekend. So um, add lots of things to that list. Once you've done the first list, then um, you will do the second list. And the second list really has three columns. So um, a column on the left, and I'll put these questions into the text at the bottom of the video. The column on the left, um, what don't I love about my life? The second column, what can I do about it? And the third column, um, um, where do I need to change my attitude? Just looking at a piece of paper. Now, if you've got an, a, you know, um, small handwriting and an A4 book, you can have three columns or an A2 piece of paper or an A2 book. But you could do this on separate pages. Um, and we're going to fill in one column at a time. So the first column, write things that I don't love about my life. And just again, brainstorm the things that you don't love about your life. And spend about 10 minutes doing that. And when you've done that, you then look at the second column. You go to the second column. Uh, what can I do about this? What can I do about that? So not for every item in the first column, but for many of the items in the first column, or start with one, one important item in the first column. Write in the column, you know, in, you know, in this new column, the column, what can I do about it? start to write um, you know, the action that you can take in your life. Because all things that you don't love in your life, there are two things that you can do about the things that you don't love in your life. The first is you can take action on it. If it's within your control, you can make a plan. And so, you know, if that's the case, um, take action, make a plan. And then the third column, um, the third part for each item, is, well, what if I can't change it? Um, or perhaps even if I can change it, I need to change my attitude. But there are some things that we, that we can't just decide to change in life. Um, I've got a health issue which is very well managed, but I don't absolutely 
believe I have full control over it. Um, I hope to have a long life, but I also, you know, I can't absolutely control that. Um, I'd like to be in a relationship. I'm single at the moment, but I'm not running into one. I don't, I can't absolutely control that either. So um, this is about changing your attitude. And the attitude can be, well, you know, I don't get on so well with my partner, but actually there's lots of great things about them that I should pay attention to more. Or um, changing your attitude from I can't be in a relationship to I could be in a relationship. Um, a student on Life Talent recently um, got into a relationship and she says that she attributes this, a great relationship by the way, and she attributes this to being on the Life Talent program. But so what is it in your attitude that needs to change to make your life better? So the left hand column um, is um, what don't I love about my life? Then next to that you write um, what I can do about it, if there is something that you can do about it. And in the final right hand column, you have to, you write, um, where do I need to change, um, how do I need to change my attitude? And a good example for me is I've got a little bit of a paunchy tum um, tummy. And actually I'm not as good looking as I used to be, I'm 62 now. So I can't really do much about that. I'm not, you know, I don't think that facelifts, you know, they don't really work that well. So. Um, you know, I just have to accept that I'm aging. So how do I change my attitude about aging? How do I make aging into a positive thing rather than into, uh, you know, a negative thing? How do I accept what is? Aging is a part of what is. So how do I change my attitude about that? I've got lots of answers to that question, by the way, but I'm not, this is not the purpose of this video to give you those answers to my questions. And so then, what I'd like right at the end of this exercise is one, two or three maximum areas where you're going to tackle what you don't love about your life. And, and tackle it in two ways. One is um, how, um, what, what, you, what you can practically decide to do about it. And then secondly, um, how you need to change your attitude. By the way, when we talk about what you can do about it, um, it may be just something that you can do on your own. Fantastic. It may be something that you need the support of friends and family or a special group of people that I call tribe, who are people, friends of yours who really believe in you, who see you and you, who know how to listen. And if you haven't got tribe, by the way, um, then it's really an important thing to have in developing and changing your life and having more of the life you love. Or you might need um, a coach or a therapist, um, someone that you pay money to. A friend cannot be a full coach or a full therapist. There's something about the professional relationship that makes a difference to that. Or you might want to come and do one of my workshops. Obviously, this is something that I work with. Um, I've got my Discovering Your Life Calling workshop coming up. I've got the Personal Transformation Intensive workshop coming up um, in... Um, Discover Your Life Calling in October 2017 and Personal Transformation Workshop in November 2017. Um, and uh, I, you know, I'd love to see you there. But so what is the support that you need to make those changes in your life? And it could be some other coach or some other therapist or some other program. It could be some other group of people. You think about what you need to make those changes, what level of support, and then think about how do I get the support that I need to make those changes in my life. I hope you found this interesting. Email me if you have any questions, message me, and uh, uh, you know, let me give me your feedback and uh, stay in touch. Take care.